Lego, what are you doing? You already made this video, why are you doing it again? I know I made this video already. I've already made a video talking about the Montreal Canadiens versus the Pittsburgh Penguins, but I'm remaking it and talking about these points again because the money puck betting odds for the new Stanley Cup play-in series and eventual playoffs have just been released, and I have quite a lot to say about it. Now, later on, two hours from now, I will upload a Vancouver Canucks version of this video because the Canucks are my favorite team above and beyond my favorite team out of every NHL team. But because PST is later on than EST, I'm going to upload the Montreal thing first because more Montreal people will be awake earlier than Vancouver people. That's just how marketing works on YouTube. But I will make the same video for the Canucks on talking about their play in series against the Wild here with the money puck odds in mind. But... The Money Puck Odds were released, and you're taking a look at it right now. Do you see anything that is interesting over here? Well, you have the eight teams that are already confirmed for the playoffs having a 100% chance of making the playoffs. That's obvious to see why. It's because they're already in. St. Louis, Vegas, Tampa, Boston, Philly, Washington, Dallas, Colorado. These teams are already in. But the rest of the teams that don't have 100% for the make playoffs circle are divided amongst other quadrants there. And out of the teams that are in play-in series that have not a 100% chance, but maybe a 40 or a 50 or a 55% chance at winning their play-in series and making the playoffs, the Montreal Canadiens have the third highest odds out of any play-in team to making the playoffs and winning their play-in series. The only teams on this chart who have higher winning percentages at their play-in series and making the playoffs are Calgary and Minnesota. Look at this. Money Puck has the Canadiens beating the Penguins. Their odds are 59.6 to Sidney Crosby's 40.4. Now, money puck odds, what these are used for, is for betting. It's for people who want to bet and gamble on the Stanley Cup playoffs to go ahead and influence their decisions. So the way this is shaping up, where you have a Montreal team that made the play-in series with 71 points, beating a Pittsburgh Penguins team that finally has Crosby, Malkin, Gensel, everybody else, as well as the addition of Jason Zucker, healthy, is kind of mind-boggling to me. If you're setting up investors and gamblers and people going to the casinos to want to watch these games and cheer for a team to bet on Montreal against Pittsburgh in what is essentially a 6-4 to four chance... I don't know what you're doing. And I know I like the Habs. I am a Habs fan. I want to see this team do well. But can you realistically tell me with a straight face that the Canadiens have a very good chance, a more than 50% chance of beating the Penguins definitively to the point where you can encourage people to bet on Montreal without saying that they're going to be wrong? I don't know if I can do that. Pittsburgh is just so experienced, so good, and already were in the hunt for a good playoff spot before this whole thing shut down, and the Canadians were 8th last in the league! Dude! Montreal just got in here because the NHL needed to get the revenue, I get that. Montreal got in here by luck, I get that. Sure, Montreal was the best team ever, pretty much, to not make the playoffs last year, but this season, they have the opportunity of being one of the worst teams, statistically, to ever make the playoffs if they beat Pittsburgh. I don't think anybody is out there saying that Montreal is the favorite to win against the Penguins. That's just my opinion, but you can comment down and tell me if I'm wrong. But at the same time, of course, I gotta take a look at this and say, if the Canadiens do, by some miracle, find a way to beat Pittsburgh, then I'm in for the ride. Don't say that I'm not gonna be in for the ride if the Canadians actually do end up winning. It's just, I think it's ridiculous to say that out of all the play-in series, Montreal has the third highest odds at winning out of every team. 
You have literally 16 teams here, and Montreal has the third best odds of all of them? Against Pittsburgh, nonetheless? Now, at the same time, we do have to take a look at some considering factors that also influence this decision. Yes, Druan is coming back. Yes, the Montreal Canadiens are indeed going to be rested. But at the same time, it also is a product of how the money puck odds are actually calculated. People will bring this up all the time when you bring up the money puck odds, but these odds and the way they calculate these odds are very, very reliant on things like expected shots and expected goals off of shots. If you take a look at the money puck about website article here, you can see all the variables that they use when it comes to how they calculate these odds. It's save percentage it's shot prediction expectations, it's shot distance and shot predictions and adjusted expected goals, it's a lot of stuff relating to shots. And the Canadians, they get a lot of shots. In fact, they were the second best shooting team in the entire National Hockey League. They had the second highest shots per game, which isn't surprising because the Canadians like to shoot the puck a lot, which means that in this model of money pucks, predictions and all that stuff, their expected goals for is much higher than a team that has fewer shots. Which obviously doesn't tell the entire story, but at the same time, Money Puck does place a very big emphasis on home versus away. And because Pittsburgh was better than Montreal in the regular season, duh, surprise, surprise, every team was better than Montreal, they're gonna be on the road a lot. And the Canadiens' power play on the road was the third best power play in the league in that category. So in a model that displays the weight of home versus away, and in a model that takes a look at things like that and says, okay, Montreal's shot expectations is very high, they shoot the puck a lot, they control the puck a lot, which means it results in more shots, combined with the fact that their power play is the third best in the league away it does combine for a compelling argument to say that, yeah, the Habs have a higher chance of winning. But I just don't think that that enough is enough to say, yeah, you know, I would bet money on the Habs. I would bet 60% of my money on Montreal beating Pittsburgh. No, I, I, what? I'm still gonna sit here and stand by the premise that I had in the previous video that we made, where we said that the number one thing that's going to help Montreal win is Carey freaking Price. He is the most important player in this series, and that is non-debatable. If there is anybody who is going to carry this Canadiens team past Pittsburgh, it's going to be Carey Price. And that doesn't have anything to do with the shot expectations and the goal expectations and the power play on the road and all that. That's just me taking a look at this Canadiens team and seeing who's the most valuable player and who has the potential to make the highest impact. And this is something that the money puck odds don't actually take into account. They don't use goaltending as much of a stronghold position in their model. If Carey Price is not Carey Price in this series, the Canadians are going to have no chance. They're going to go back to 8th overall or whatever it is. They're going to lose. Sayonara. And they're going to be gone. This team does not have the third highest percent chance of winning out of all the play-in series. I'm sorry. They were the worst one out of the bunch. Do they have the potential to win? Yes. But is it at 60%? I would definitely not say that. So, to anybody who is trying to get their friends to invest and to gamble and to actually have some fun with the know your limit, play within it kind of stuff that they're doing over here for the NHL playoffs, don't be that guy who pulls up the money puck odds and says, hey man, you know, it says that Montreal has a 60% chance to beat the Penguins, so bet on Montreal. No, you're being a bad friend if you're doing that, if you know the status quo of this team. Everybody in my comment section from the previous video was saying, no, I just want this team to lose. Give us that 8th overall pick. Give us that top 10 pick in the 2020 draft so we can build towards the future. From the way this team was performing and the way they got injured, there was no real way for this team to make the playoffs except for the cop-out strategy that the NHL implemented where they need the revenue so they're incorporating 24 teams. So... That just got off my chest. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if I'm being too harsh. 
because I want to know that for sure. I know some people will get upset about what I'm saying, but this is just my opinion, and this is my YouTube channel, so I'll talk about the things I feel in the way that I want to talk about them. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you think about this topic. Social.trolls99. And, bye. <laughs>